Welcome. Let's quickly look at the folder structure of Angular. So here we have the node modules and this is the SRC folder which is the main folder. In the Angular JSON, we have all the things related to Angular application configuration. Like we have here different things mentioned about that this is not a standalone application. And here it talks about how while building the application, what are the folders it should look for, which file it should consider as the main file. So here is the main file, which is considered as the main file. And of course, index.html is the main HTML file. And then it also talks about what are the different uh, CSS files available. So it looks for this file. Similarly, if there are other configurations which you would like to override related to Angular, you can do that here. By default, this file is provided by Angular with certain configuration. Like if you are talking about language internationalization, you can do the configuration here. So this file is a very important file and this can be overridden for different purposes. And if you add more and more configuration, you should modify this file. So here it talks about, let's say, after building the project where it should keep the configured file. So it uh, says it's going to create a dist folder and then put that here. And main.ts is the file which imports other configurations. Hence, it's going to compile all the files. So these are the configurations which are kept here. Package JSON is with the scripts and dependencies ts config is related to typescript and the spec file is for its uh, test unit test of the specs the unit test of uh, this particular typescript file then of course we have the git ignore which is the file which where we say what to commit what not to commit and let's go to the main folder which is the src folder here we have the style.css file we can write css here and import other css in this file then we have the main.ts file how main.ts file is organized is in the index html file we already saw in the angular json we said what which is the main index html and uh, the the ts ts file so here what happens is when application starts in the normal dev mode on the fly in the browser, all the TypeScript file gets compiled and bundled and it gets added into the index HTML. So basically index HTML loads this main.ts file. The main.ts file is getting loaded and then because of this dependency which is the platform browser dynamic, it loads the first main module. How Angular is Angular works is it has different modules. Each modules are different components, and different components interact within that module. And of course, we can also have different components interact between different modules. Also, that's also possible. But here, this we say that app module is the main module, so it will try to load the app module. So from index.html, main ts gets loaded, main ts loads the app, mo app module and in the app module, it basically then goes and checks for which is the main component. So it loads the main component which is the app component. Along with that, it also loads certain other modules which are needed and of course, the component needs to be also declared here. And then it goes to that particular component and it checks for what is the HTML, CSS it has to load and the JavaScript components which are mentioned in this. And then also it checks where it should load. So then it goes and looks for app hyphen root in the HTML file. So in the app hyphen root, selector it's going to load everything so let's look for the app hyphen root so this is the app hyphen root present in the 
index html so all this markup that you see from the app component will get dumped here so if we are creating new components we will add them to the app component and also we will register them in the app module then it will automatically be taken care and get added in the app route of the index html in this way we say sing angular works as a single page application framework because it has only one page index html all other components are just getting dynamically replaced without the browser reload so this is how the whole angular works and of course there is also routing that takes place which whose configuration needs to be mentioned here in the routing configuration we mention which url should load which component we register them here we are going to look over all those in detail in uh, future but for now this is how it happens each component can have its own css file also and you can import them in your ts file like this and then of course you can style that particular specific component but if you have any generic styling put it on the style.css file so this is the folder structure of angular application and the working of the angular thank you